Okay, so in today's lesson, what we learned, or what we're learning, uh, is how to use mental math to evaluate expressions. Um, in, the, in our first set here, what we're doing is we're comparing uh, expressions, finding out if uh, two expressions are equivalent or if they're not equivalent. Um, so basically what we're doing here is we're taking a 37 times 19, and we're taking a look at four other expressions to find out if any of these are equivalent or not equivalent. In the first one, we notice we have 37 nineteens, and that's how it reads. But 37 nineteens is the same thing as saying, or equivalent to saying, 37 times 19. So this one's out. We're not going to choose it. We're looking for ones that are not equivalent. The second one, there's a problem here, because this should not read 29. It should read 19. All right, so there's a bit of a typo uh, on the page here. Um, and if we read it with it as 19, then it kind of makes sense here. Because what happens is we have 30 nineteens minus... 7 19s. And 30, 30 19s minus 7 19s gives me 23 19s. And those certainly uh, are not equivalent to 37 19s over here. So this is one we're going to choose because they're not equivalent. Okay, 37 19s is greater than 23 19s. Over here, I notice we're dealing with 37s here. Here I have 19 of them, 19 37s. Well, over here I have, well, 19 37s, so these are equivalent. I can't choose this. And my last choice here, I have, I see I have 40 minus 2, and that gives me 38 times 19. Or I have 19 38s, and in my original example, I have 19 37s. Well, these are not equivalent, so that I get to choose this one as well. Okay? So that was the first step of the lesson. Next, what I want to do, what we talked about today, was using now mental math to evaluate expressions. This was kind of complicated at first, but then the kids really started to catch on a bit. Let's take a problem like 19 times 50. What we're saying here now is I, I, would, I would rather multiply a number like 20 times 50, because I know 20 times 50 is something I can do in my head. Now, if I have 20 groups of 50 as compared to 19 groups of 50, what I did was I, I, I'm taking 20 groups of 50 and I'm removing one of those groups to get me back down to 19 groups of 50. So what I need to do here is find the answer for 20 times 50, remove a group of 50, and that brings me back down to, my, to the answer I really want, which is 19 times 50. That sounds a bit... Uh, uh, a bit uh, complicated, but the diagram kind of works it out for you. Because here I'm showing, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 20 50s. Okay. And 20 50s, if we look down here, 20 50s equals, well, my 2 times my 5 gives me 10. And my 2 more place values gives me, well, 2 more place values gives me 1,000. And what I want to do here now is remove one of those groups of 50. And if I do remove one of those group, groups of 50, I wind up with 950. And what does that look like down here? Well, I have my 20 times my 50 minus my 1 times 50, or my 1,000 minus my 50 gives me my 950. The point is the kids uh, are starting to get really used to multiplying in their head. And these diagrams kind of work things out or are training their minds to think in their to think in their head and to solve these problems mentally. Okay, let me do one over here. I notice we have 11 times 26. So what I'd rather do is take 10 times 26 and then add another 26. So I'll draw that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's my 10 groups of 26. 26. All these 26. Here's my 10 groups of 26. Now, my 10 groups of 26, or 10 times 26, is 260. But I really want 11 times 26, so I'm going to add another group of 26. Okay, and if I do that... Nice and quick, I wind up with 286. And that's how nice and fast this can be. So if I was to break this down here, I have 1126s. And it says think here. So 
uh, what I want is I want 10 26s, and I want to then add one more 26s. My 10 times 26 is my 260. I'm going to add another 1 times 26. Oh, hang on, I put the wrong number in there. Sorry, I'm going a little too fast. So my 10 times 26 plus my 1 times 26. So here's my 260. Here's my 26 for my total of 286. Okay. And let's see if I have enough time to do one more here. Sure. Let's erase this and clear the ink there. Cruise down. Do one more because, again, this is brand new to a lot of these kids. And things can get a little bit confusing. So let's see if we can work this out. Okay. Uh, here I have uh, 29 times 12 or 29 12s. Now it says think here. So what I'm going to do is instead of multiplying 29 times 12, I kind of like 30 times 12. And then I'm going to remove a group of 12. So I'm going to have 30 times 12 and remove a group of 12. So I'm going to have 30 12s minus 1 12. Okay. So the only thing I have to do now is figure out, well, what is 30 times 12? Well, I have my 12 times my 3. Okay, that gives me 36 with one more place value. That's 360 minus my 1 times 12, which is 12. And if I was to uh, take 12 away from 360, well, that gives me my 348. Okay, so that's the deal. And if I was to draw that out, which it's not even asking me to do, but let's just say I really just love doing this. Let me take my tape diagram here. And I want to show uh, 30 twelfths. Okay. And I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to show a little bit of a trick. I'm going to jump. So I have one, two, three, four twelfths. I'm going to jump all the way over here. And I like that dot, dot, dot. It shows a little bit of a separation here. And this is going now going to be 30, 29, 28, 27 of those twelfths. And since I'm removing one, I, I want to go back down to 29. I'm just going to cross out one of them. Okay. So my 30, so my 30 twelves turns into a 360. Okay. And here's my minus my little 12 here, which means make one more. Well, the whole thing is 360, and my one piece is 12. That means this piece is my 3, 48. Okay? That's it, gang. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.